This is a fairly common question, uh, especially in multiple choice exams such as JE, Main or GRE. We have to find the interval of convergence of the Taylor series expansion of this about this point here. Uh, and on the thumbnail to this video, we put that uh, you can basically solve it instantaneously and you can. So what we're going to do in this video is first of all, for those who are impatient to know the trick, we'll show the trick. Then what we'll do is we'll do it using the traditional Taylor series expansion, you'll see that's much more difficult. And finally, we'll explain the trick and, and why it works. So basically, here's the trick. What we need to do is we need to get 4 over 3x plus 2 in the form 1 over 1 plus or minus x minus 5 times something, whatever. And then what we do, it will converge when the modulus of that is less than 1. And uh, basically, let's just do it then. So uh, 4 over... 3x plus 2, well that equals 4 times 3x minus 5, and if we take 15 off, we've got to add 15 back in, and that equals 4 over 3x minus 5, add 17, and that, let's take the 4 and the 17 out, 4 over 17, 1 over 1, add 3 over 17, x minus 5, so it's now in the form that we wanted it, and all we need to do now to answer this question is say, okay, that modulus must be less than 1, so the mod 3 seventeenths x minus 5 must be less than 1, i.e. mod x minus 5 must be less than 17 over 13, i.e. the interval of convergence is x greater than minus 2 thirds and less than 32 over 3, so as promised, the answer is B, and you could probably do that in 10 seconds in your head. Okay, so um, that's how to do the trick. So for those only interested in the trick, we bid you farewell. And for the others, uh, let's take a step back and let's do this the traditional way, which is with the T Taylor series expansion. And you'll see this isn't, it, it's not very easy. And then uh, we'll explain why the trick works. And that's actually a better method for doing this anyway. Okay, so let's have a look. Now let's have a look at the Taylor series expansion. Uh, we've got that f of x equals f of a add f dashed of a x minus a. This is the traditional uh, f dash dashed of a x minus a squared over 2 factorial, add da 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 And of course, as we want to uh, expand the Taylor series around the point x equals 5, we let a equal 5. So basically, we have uh, that f of x is 4 over 3x plus 2. And what we're going to do, this is the traditional way of doing it. We're going to expand the Taylor series expansion around the point a equals 5. And then we are going to use the ratio test, basically that a n plus 1 over a n must be less than 1 in order for this to converge. But first of all, we need to find the general, the general term a n. And to do that, we need to do a, a few derivatives. OK, so basically, uh, then that equals 4. 3x add 2 to the power of uh, minus 1. Okay, so we can find f of 5 immediately because that's the first term in here because a is equal to 5. f of 5 is equal to 4 17 so let's just put in 5 into there as x. Okay, now let's have a look at f dashed of x. That equals, obviously we've got to differentiate this, and I'm going to keep it in this form so that we can find the general term. 4 times minus 1 times the differential in times the bracket, which is 3 times 3x add 2 to the minus 2, and therefore f dashed of 5 is just sticking 5 in there, is equal to minus 1 times 4 times 3 over 17 squared. And let's have a look at f dash dashed of x. That is going to be, again, we just have to differentiate that, so that's going to be 4 times minus 1 times 3 squared, because again, we've got to multiply the differential in the bracket, which is 3, times minus 2, which is that one coming down, times 3x add 2 to the minus 3, i.e. f dash dashed of 5 is equal to 4 times 3 squared times 2 factorial over 17 cubed. And you'll see why I'm keeping it in this form, because it makes it much easier for us to find the general nth term. Oops, sorry, uh, where have we gone there? Okay, uh, don't know what happened there. And then f dash 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 of x equals 4 times minus 1 times 3 cubed times minus 2 times minus 3, basically bringing that down, and again, the differential inside the using the chain rule, 3x add 2 to the minus 4. So f dash dash dashed of 5 is equal to 
minus 1 times 4 times 3 cubed times 3 factorial over 17 to the 4. And finally, now we've got the pattern, so we can see the pattern. So basically, f to the n of 5 is going to be equal to minus 1 to the n, just looking at the pattern here, times 4 times 3 to the n times n factorial over 17 to the power of n plus 1. And therefore, the nth term of the Taylor expansion is going to be equal to this over n factorial. You'll remember, uh, the nth term is going to be over n factorial. And the n factorial cancels out. And so therefore, we have the sum finally is equal to the sum between n equals 0 and infinity of minus 1 to the n times 4 times 3 to the n over 17 to the n plus 1 times x minus 5 to the n. And that is the expansion about the point x equals 5. So we have the sum and we have the general term. Now before we just go on uh, and do the, um, the interval of convergence and the ratio test, um, one thing they do ask, so we might as well do this because obviously this is supposed to be an educational video. Let's have a look at the first four terms anyway. Let's just put in n equals 0, 1, 2 and 3 in. So that'd be 4 times 3 to the 0 times x minus 5 to the 0. I'm just putting n equals 0 in here over 17. Well, it'll be minus because minus 1 squared is going to be minus. 4 times 3 times x minus 5 to the 1 over 17 squared. Add 4 times 3 squared times x minus 5 squared over 17 cubed. Minus, again, we don't have to do this to find the interval of convergence, but we do just in case the question could have been, what are the first four terms? Uh, times 4 times 3 cubed times x minus 5 cubed over 17 to the 4, add da da da, and so therefore, we've just got enough room here, the first four terms are just 4 seventeenths minus 12 x minus 5 over 289, add 36 over 4913 x minus 5 squared, minus 108 over 83521 x minus 5 Cubed. And that is the expansion up to the first four terms uh, of our uh, function around the point x equals 5. And I know they didn't ask that, but anyway, let's just... Um uh, that's what that's what it is. Now, all we need to do to find actually answer the question is the interval of convergence. So to find the interval of convergence, we use the ratio test, a n plus 1 over a n, the modulus of that is less than 1, i.e., and this does look a bit ugly to start with, Let's put all this in. So we here's the n plus 1th term, minus 1 to the n plus 1, times 4, times 3 to the n plus 1, times x minus 5 to the n plus 1, over 17 to the n plus 2. That's a n plus 1. And a n, don't worry, all of this cancels out, times 4, times 3 to the n, times x minus 5 to the n, over 17 to the n plus 1 has got to be less than 1. All of this cancels out, basically, leaving us with 3 times x minus 5 over 17. The modulus of that has got to be less than 1. Everything else cancels out. And then, basically, uh, this gives us pretty much what we had on the trick, which is that the mod of x minus 5 has got to be less than 17 over 3, i.e. x has got to be greater than 5 minus 17 over 3, and it's got to be less than 5 plus 17 over 3, i.e. x has got to be greater than minus 2 thirds, and it's got to be less than 32 over 3, and that is the interval of convergence, which is basically the answer as before. But this is clearly a lot more laborious. Okay, so now let's just have a look. Why does the trick work? And in actual fact, the trick works because what we're doing is... We are using the fact that 1 over 1 minus x is equal to the sum between infinity and n equals 0 of 1 add x add x squared add da, 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 add x to the n add, i.e. the infinite geometric series. And we know that the geometric series converges as long as the modulus of x is less than 1. And we're going to use that. So what we do is we get 4 over 3x plus 2 in the form 1 over 1 minus x x or 1 plus x, 1 plus or minus x, and then all we have to do is say, well, all we need is for this x to be less than 1, the modulus of it, and then it converges, and that's how we get the trick. Okay, so basically what we'll do is we'll just do it a little bit slower, so we have that 4 over 
3x plus 2 equals 4 over, again, first of all, we need to get the x into the x minus 5. And as we've taken 15 away here, we've got to add 15 back. And that equals 4 over 17 add 3 x minus 5. Uh, and now all we need to do is we take the 4 and the 17 out. So that'd be 4 over 17, 1 over 1 add 3 seventeenths x minus 5. And we now have it in this form. Admittedly, we got the plus instead of the minus, but that's fine because we're only looking at the modulus for when it converges. And then all we need to do, because we have it in the correct form, is we just need to say now, well, it converges when the modulus of that is less than 1 because it's a form of a geometric series. So all we have to do is say, okay, well, the modulus of 3 17ths x minus 5 has got to be less than 1 from the geometric series, uh, i.e., mod x minus 5 has got to be less than 17 over 3 and we're basically right back where we started uh, and that can give us the answer like that and that's how the trick works that's just a matter of interest um, we know that the general term uh, here is x to the n so we can actually work out the general term if it could have asked us for the general term so from here the general term is basically 4 17ths times minus minus 1 to the power of n because it basically is a plus instead of a minus there, times by, this is the x, 3 over 17, x minus 5 to the n. That's the general term from that, which equals minus 1 to the n times 4 times 3 to the n over 17 to the n plus 1 times x minus 5 to the n, which is exactly the same general term that we found here, uh, sorry, there. Uh, where was it? Yeah, basically here. And then, of course, the sum is exactly the same as this if we use the geometric series as well. OK, so basically, that's how the trick works. Um, if you weren't doing a multiple choice and didn't need to just know the answer, you actually needed to show you're working, clearly doing it the geometric series way, which is uh, the way... Uh, on page two, where are we now? Yeah, basically the way on uh, on page two here. Doing it as a geometric series is far easier because you don't need to do any differentiation or anything like that. Uh, but if you had to do it by the Taylor series expansion, well, that is how to do it. So it depends really what sort of question you get asked. Do you get asked just to find the interval of convergence and it's a multiple choice, in which case use any old trick that you possibly can to save time. And this is a really good trick. If it says use the Taylor series expansion, um, then you have to do that. And if it doesn't tell you how to do it, it just asks you for the interval of convergence showing you're working, then the geometric series is probably the best way to go. Okay, well, look, I hope you found that useful. If you have, um, then please like this video and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.